What up, guys? What up, guys? Your girl talk about a Tequina, and that is my lovely crazy king. Hello. Iconic. Is it not ironic? I got the girl with the boo, and we don't smoke chronic. But if we had a Caprice, we hit the switch like a Reese. Okay, let's focus. Yes. We are focused. We oh I am focused. I'm focused on you. Okay. Okay. Mm. Mm. All right, guys. So mm. we're sticking with our theme of working on relationships and communication. Actually, we said we were gonna do a part two. Are we gonna make this a part two? We can. We don't have to, but we can if you want to. Uh yeah, we'll do it later. Do the part two later. Okay. So today's topic is effective communication, or I'm sorry, trust and transparency, strengthening the bond. So this one, because we are a LDR for the time being, I don't really consider it, but I mean, hell, we ain't going to sleep next to each other physically. So it's, it's LDM. What's LDM? Long distance marriage. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It's still a relationship, nonetheless. But mm-hmm. I see what you True. did there. We ain't so, got no ship. We got a. We got a yacht. We got a. What, what's what's some big boats called? It's a yacht, a cruise. No, the the one the commercial liners. Cruise, baby. Okay, cruise ship. I'm talking about the ones that. Well, what's what's bigger, a cruise ship or the ones that carry the big old fifty-three foot uh, containers? Oh, I don't, I don't know what those are called offhand. But those are probably bigger. I think I don't know honestly. I probably a cruise ship because they're huge. Well, I ain't never been on one, so I wouldn't know. I wouldn't either. I don't. Even, I've been near one, so if that counts. Yeah, you you always be next to the ocean. Yeah. So. Why does it matter? No, I'm just kidding. Come on, okay, let's okay. Go ahead. We All got right. we gotta stay focused. Um. So today we're gonna be talking about exploring the significance of trust in relationships and share personal stories and advice on building and maintaining trust. So, for us, long distance marriage, how do we do with trust? So, we have multiple things in place, but I want to emphasize. But before you go on to that, hold that thought. Listen, people, if you've been following us, you would know how we did it. Well, if not, we're going to tell you in this one. We're doing a series. So so we're doing a series. So everything we've talked about before, we're just kind of putting it in categories so you can find specifically what you're looking for. And it's not all jumbled up in all our other videos. But if you've been following, we have spoke on this. Do we have a playlist? We're creating it now with the series. Okay. Um, So I was saying that before we speak about the things that we have in place in regards to trust, I want to emphasize these are things that we have in place for other reasons, and it's not because of lack of trust, okay? So for us, um, we have each other's locations on two apps. So there's a 360 app, um, and I will link that. I think I can link that in the description below. Um, so there's a 360 app, um, and then there's we have iPhones. So obviously, there's the Find My Friends. Um, the 360 app is is real good. Like the 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 free version or whatever. Like you can click on the person's uh, profile and and send them hearts as many as you can. Yeah. So we do that a lot. Like, and that's part of. We can talk about that in the communication video. Um, but that's something I'll just go and show you. 
that we do, we have a whole message thread of hearts that we've uh, sent to each other. So it, it may not show. Um, it's not showing at all. Because That's while we are, while we're at work, we, you know, if we're thinking about, you know, send it to say, hey, thinking about you. So I'm going to move it out the screen because I don't want y'all to see where my king is at. Um, but there's little things down here where you can send hearts and uh, ETA, what's up? Be safe. On my way. Need a ride. Um, call me. So just little other ways of communicating. Um, but so the... That is one of the things that we have in place. Now, again, it's not necessarily for trust, but you can use it for that if there's trust issues or whatever, but we'll talk about all of that. Um, we also have cameras for security, but my king has access to the camera. So if I go anywhere within the house or outside of the house, he can see it. I do not want it to sound like you know, he's insecure. These are things that we already had in place that when we started back talking, because I have nothing to hide and because we have, you know, I have medical issues or had a medical issue um, or because I was driving late at night or early in the morning to work. And she'd be by herself. I'm by myself. So if anything happens, uh, the 360 app has a crash alert on it. So it'll let you know if something bad happened. You'll know where that person is, where the, you know, their last location, whatever. So those are in place for other reasons, but they are there for someone who is like, well, I need to be able to trust you. I need to see where you're at. Um, those are things that you can use. And some people are okay with that. And some people don't. We literally were, are in a group and um, they were talking about having access to each other's phone. And that's something that I want to talk about um, with this, with trans trust and transparency. Would you allow your spouse access to your phone? And in that, on that post, it was very mixed responses to some people are like, yeah, I don't care. Others are like, for what? No. Um, you can access the, anything on the lock screen, but you can't access anything beyond that. And I think if you're in a relationship and you're in it for the long haul, then giving someone access to your phone should not, there should be no question. Um, we have access to each other's phones. I have access to his email. I can get into his Facebook. Um, he can get Speaking into that. I definitely would like for you to log into the email and like delete some stuff. Instance. Yeah, delete stuff. That's I, old. I don't know. I might have like your everything. email. Your email looks worse than all mine put together. How about that? Oh well, then yeah, there you go. Yeah, and I have a lot of emails, so your one email is making all of mine. Yeah. Anywho, so those are things that are in place. Like we have, a we have full access to each other's information. Um. Back in the day, I wouldn't say that, no, we did not. Like, hell, I couldn't even get his phone for five minutes back in the day. Not saying that she couldn't, but it would be like, well, why? Like, yeah, exactly, but why? So it's that mindset yeah. of what do you need it for? Why? What do you, you know? And, and wholeheartedly back then, it was because there was trust issues and we were not transparent with each other back then. So when I went looking, I found what I was looking for. Um, and not, not to say it was bad or good, but when you go looking for something and you have suspicions, then you're going to find it because obviously there's issues. So where it's lacking is where I found what wasn't lacking, if that makes sense. And if I'm lacking communication with him and him not being able to be open or honest or sexual with me or whatever it is, then he's going to go and find it somewhere else. So that's what I mean by when I went looking, I found it. But that was on both of us for not communicating to each other or being open to communicate. And that is part of being transparent and being able to trust. You need to be open with each other 
And that openness and that transparency will strengthen the bond that the two of y'all have. If you don't, if you're not transparent and if you can't trust each other, then your bond is weak. You're the weakest link. Almost, almost you can refer back to the to the video H O T with a side of D. Mm-hmm. Um, I might- it wasn't like it, it wasn't like that before. Well, it was because had to access. Um, I'm turning you down some, but she wasn't always looking for it. But when she did, she found very correct. But, so, um, so, so with that, like. It's just not only me, it's men and women. And one thing I want to touch on is like, it's human nature to go and find what you're lacking on both, on both ends. Yeah. It's, it's, it's human nature. Um, now I know some of y'all would be like, no, it's not human nature. It's not, it's not, it is, it is. Think if, if you sit down and really be honest with yourself, if you was lacking something, you were going to try to find it. Or if you was lacking something, your energy that you was that that you're giving it to to the lack would probably show up in the wrong person. My energy was like, okay, I'm not feeling or having that intimacy. So guess what? Somebody that probably was picking up on the energy. And didn't know it unbeknownst to her, unbeknownst to me. Now we're into it and you know, it's 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 human nature, but you have to be first you gotta be transparent with yourself, open, honest with yourself before you before you let somebody even have your information. Cause like I said in the group, to to have my to have access to my phone, I will have to trust you with looking or seeing my bank account, um, my credit score, possibly my social. If it's somewhere in there, I haven't looked because I didn't need it because it's my, you know, I know me. But if it is in there, you need to be okay with whoever got that access. And if not, then, you know, you might have the wrong man. You might have the wrong woman. Yeah. Um. So so there's that. So trust is earned, and it's built. Like you have to build up that trust. So if you're dating someone, obviously you're not going to give them uh, full trust and transparency. You would want to give them transparency in the beginning. But trust obviously is over time. Can I trust this person with my life? Can I trust this person with my information? Um, while being in a relationship like ourselves, we're we're in two separate states. So trust, even even having each other's location, goes beyond being able to see where they're at. Because, like a couple last month, I went to a club. Was that last month I went to the club or September for your niece? I think it was September, maybe. Yeah, it might have been. Yeah. Um, so I went to a whole club. So the trust is having those conversations beforehand. Now, we didn't really need to have a conversation because we're 100% in a different space. So even if, let's say, I would have met someone or started talking to someone, it wouldn't have led to anything number one because he knows me um but if there let's say there was an interest of something or someone then it would have just been conversation but i the transparency would have came in with me saying hey i met this person they were cool as hell we might hang out or whatever the case may be like if i have any any feelings of whatever and if he has any feelings of whatever we're going to talk about it. That's where the transparency comes in. And when she went, when she went to the club, what did, what did I do? What did I do, baby? 
Do you remember what I did? No. No. I was asleep. Oh yeah. I went to sleep. Yeah. I went to sleep. So so if there was any if there was trust issues or anything like that, like I probably wouldn't have went to sleep. No, I was comfortable enough to go to sleep. Because yeah. It was it was late. Well it was and late. that was before the time the time changed, so Yeah. And and I couldn't yeah, I couldn't even face black with that. So I was out. Yeah, because I was trying to call him after, and he, yeah, he was asleep. Yeah, I didn't even hear. I didn't even hear the phone. Yeah, so, so he was knock knock. He was not worried about me. Um, so there, there's that. There's transparency, openness. You have to put everything on the table. You have to be honest. And if, if, let's just say we didn't have each other's locations, or we didn't. You didn't have access to the, the security cameras or whatever the case may be, and you asked for it now, I would not have a problem with you having that access. I wouldn't have a problem with you saying, baby, I'm going to log into your Facebook. Let me snoop around and see what I can find. I would not have a problem with that at all because there's we've been so open and honest that he doesn't need to say, I want to look around because there's just... we talk about everything. I don't need to go and say, I need your phone. Let me, oh, you've been in Minnesota. You back in town, hand over that phone. I don't say that because we talk about, there's, I'm not going to find anything we haven't already talked about. Let's put it in perspective. When I'm around you, when I'm around you, where is my phone? Wherever. Half the time, do I know where my phone is? Wherever. It, it no. don't ring. It don't do nothing. She can see it. I've, I've, I've left with it being in her presence. Like I can I pick up his phone, phone without a problem. And he can pick up mine without a problem. Like, now, because we have that, it, it's, it's really no need because really being transparent. Like, like, um, where, where was I at? And I told you, where was I at recently? And I told you about a female. Well, what, what, what was the conversation? Facebook female or in person? In person. Mm, at the gym? Oh. Yeah, like females at the gym. Like you know, she she made it where I'm I'm comfortable enough to talk to her about females at the gym. He be swinging that thing at the gym, and females be looking. Yeah, you spread your legs. And that again, that's because we built that transparency and that trust. I know females are f- particularly, I, I mean, I don't think he's run across them uh, recently, but there's two that, you know, was there in a regular that I think probably would have approached them or will approach him at some point if they see him again. Um, oh, yeah. At, at the other at the other gym. gym. By your, yeah. yeah. So I'm okay with that. Like, we our trust is so strong. I'm like, go out with your friends, go hang out, go go to the club, go to the bar with your friends, go do these things because our trust is we've built a very strong foundation. Now, our trust in the in the past cracked. Foundation was cracked. Mm-hmm. You ain't gotta put the emphasis on there, but yes. No, I, I do need to put the emphasis on there because both of us it was crack crack um we were not in a good place back then but we've learned over the years we've built these skills to be able to communicate with each other and we're at a point now that we there there's no the trust that we have and the transparency that we have there's nothing we cannot say to each other that's going to be an issue yeah 
Like, just, it was a, it's just you 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 have to prepare a place for your partner to be able to just let it almost a place to cry a place to be happy a place to be sad a place to be okay with like um if she were to come to me and say yeah i, I the dude tried to holler at me but you know he, he was trying to show me his stuff or whatever it's like okay all right <clears throat> she's 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 been at work and and seen a dude next to her wanking you know it it is what it is that's what you saw i, I can't not I, I can't put blinders on you so you saw what you saw okay that was that that was messed up because I was in a school bus with kids. Oh so. well, yeah, like as the one where I don't know what was going on, but his his or her pants was down around our ankles while we in traffic. I come back by, all of a sudden you got pants on. Where the pants come from? Oh, is that what the bundle that was up? In? So <coughs> yeah, so. So yes, you want to be able to have full trust in each other and you don't get trust until you get the transparency. You have to be 100% open so that when you have those conversations of ha each other having access to the phone, I didn't have I didn't even have a password on my phone or my iPad and he's like, "Well, you might want to put it on there just in case you leave your phone somewhere, you set it down. No one has access to that." And I'm like, "Okay, yeah." <laughs> It, it happened in Vegas. So. Yeah. So it makes sense. Like, put a password on there, but he has access to it. He can go. He may not necessarily remember because he's not constantly using it to go into my phone. But he knows how he knows one of two numbers that can access the phone or the iPad. So, um, I know the birthday. It, yeah. So Who's birthday, y'all want no. Don't yeah, don't. And it's um, not one of ours. So it doesn't, baby. It don't look. Don't the world don't need to know. Well, how about I go tell them who's Rockers? Anyhow, uh so. You have to build, you have to be transparent and then the trust will come along. But if you're, if you're holding back, number one, don't blame the other person for holding back when you're the one holding back. Don't be like, oh, well, I'm not doing it because you're not doing it or you're not being fully honest. No, you're not being fully honest. And that's why you think they're not being fully honest. If you want to be the change, if you, if you want things to change, you have to be the change. So exactly. Even though that person isn't ready to or whatever, you continue to be open, transparent. Show yeah. them that you are willing to take them steps. Now, now, mind you, I'm not saying continue and it's been two years and you still ain't got that access. No, that's that's too long. But there should be some type of improvement on the other person's behalf. If you're doing what you need to do. Yeah. And I forgot what you just said, but two years is a long time. Y'all, we really got to a point of working on ourselves right at the same time. Like we, we started healing ourselves. He's, to be honest, let me back up. For him, he took a spiritual journey first. And then my dad passed. I came along and took the spiritual journey. And in that process of within a matter of weeks, then we started working on that. Heal it was like instant, just working on that healing process. And within that is where the transparency came in for me and being transparent and saying, I fucked up. I was wrong in these situations. And because I was able to be transparent, we started that process together. 
it it worked for us together. But you, if you're in a relationship with someone and it's been two years and you've given them full transparency, 100% trust, and they're still holding back, then yeah, you got to question, you got to really sit down and try and talk to them and, and kind of break through that barrier and see why they're not letting you in, see why they're not they're withholding the trust or withholding the transparency because there may be some deep rooted issues that maybe they're aware of, or maybe they're not aware of, but you got to let them know, like I'm coming to you full transparency, full trust, full everything. And you're still holding back. And that's not good for us. It's not good for our relationship. We can't move for, we can't move forward together if you're still holding back because you're going to continuously hold us back. One person's trying to move move up in life and the other person's weighing them down by holding on to trust issues and whatever else, you're not going to have a healthy relationship. You're just you're just not. So yeah, 2 years is, is is quite a bit. So realistic 6 6 months to a year. 6 months to a year. And it's got to be continual. It can't be like, for us, it was continual. We're still, I think we're in a good place where we're like we're full transparency, trust, communication's good. Like, but it's still something you have to maintain. So we've we've been healed, but you still have to maintain it. You You have to be honest and say, hey, I'm feeling this type of way. I'm, you know, you did something and I, I just... I'm I'm having some some feelings of trust or I don't feel like you're being transparent about everything you told me. You have to be able to vocalize that and then have the conversation because maybe it's just something that something within you that's making you see something that's really not there. Mm-hmm. You have to it's the saying a closed mouth don't get fed. So you have to talk. You have to open up your mouth, talk, yeah. Um, you know, my baby could be saying something, and I'd be like, "Well, I, I really don't get it. I don't understand. Can you, can you help me to understand? Well, what don't you understand? Mm, this part, that part, mm, the whole thing. You know, whatever. Yeah. And um, then you know, it's like, okay, so now it's time to break it down. Like, okay, in sections. Okay, when I said this, what don't you understand about that? Okay, go to the next one. When I say this, what don't you want? You know, and vice versa. Um, One thing for sure, two things for certain. If, um, and this was something did all the time. Well, how was your day? So if I'm telling you how my day is and just so happened, I'm telling you that yeah, I talked to Susie, Jan, and and Talalicious or whatever, and you're getting upset. You know, it's a red flag. But now you gotta now you gotta sit and find out and talk about why that red flag is bothering you. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you you just gotta sit back and think to yourself, well, why is it that when he told me about his day? Why did I get mad because he said Sue what triggered what triggered me? Yeah. yeah. And a lot of times the triggers be the fact that you know, as a child growing up, you might not have felt love. So when there's another female in the in the mix, you're you you know, you was looking for love from your, your man, but he just spoke some other female's name. And now you, now you, thinking, now, now you jumping off the deep end. And it was just what they call it, an office cooler talk type thing. Yeah, and you're jumping off the deep end because you equate another female into love or attention. It's just not that. Yes. So. Um, hopefully we've helped you guys kind of jumpstart those conversations of being talking about trust and transparency to strengthen your bond because strengthening your bond 
is so important. If you if you're in it for the long haul, long haul, then you definitely want to have those conversations and be like, look, this is my forever person. So there's nothing, there's no reason why I don't feel like I can't share what I'm thinking, what I'm feeling, what I'm seeing. Like, you know, before we both had issues like, oh, you're on, you're on social media, you're talking to this guy or, you know, you're holding conversation with this person or, you know, or vice versa. He, you know, I'd see him holding conversations with females that he was at work with. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm not feeling that. Um, we were in a group where there was a person in there that was intentionally trying to sabotage in his own way because he was a Pisces and just all oh, that. Group. Yeah. yeah. To see how I said that, like he knew who I was talking about. Um, but we're going to go ahead and end this video. Maybe like we was, said, Maybe it was a squirrel or something. I don't know. Doing parkour off the screen window. Well, um, so we're going to try and keep these videos short into topic. Um, we're keeping it raw. We've always kept it raw. So there's no, no editing or whatnot, but we're legit jumping right in. We're getting to the topics. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and be sure to um, every week we'll be dropping videos Saturday and Sunday. And we're going to go, we're going to stick with this building relationship series for a few months because that is the foundation of where we are at today. And so we want to help other couples get to where we at. Um, not just talking about poly and the things that we, you know, the choices we've made as far as lifestyle and whatnot, but really building those foundations so that when you make those lifestyle choices and changes, these things are not interfering. So and by all means, leave a question in the comments. We'll write it down and we'll do a video. Absolutely. Maybe we'll even do a short about the question and answer it for you that way. Absolutely. Or if it's if it's a question that got way more information that we oh excuse me. If the question have us to do way more information than a short, then we will do a video. Either way we'll do a video on it. We'll respond. Um, and we also, oh, I haven't put it down here, but obviously you can find us on YouTube because it's probably where you're watching this or Facebook, but Facebook, Instagram, uh, YouTube, we're not active right now on TikTok because I want to do that as a couple together. Um, yeah. So we're not active on our TikTok, but we do have a TikTok so you can follow us over there. And then we have Patreon that we have not posted anything because, again, um, there's some other things going on with Patreon that we, that's going to be a whole different, um, different thing. But be sure to follow us on our social medias. I am your girl, Talk About It, Tina. That is my lovely king, Iconic. Iconic. Because he's so ironic. And don't ground your love. Make it out of this world. God dog. <laughs> Make it out of this world. Know. Be Man. sure to subscribe to the channel. Like, comment, let us know what you think, your thoughts, any issues you're having. And we'll so see. That's what I, I, I want to just do with pinky. Ain't no pinky nail there. Anywho, guys, we are out. We'll catch you in the next one.